Berkshire. BBC Radio Berkshire. Playing Whitney Houston, I want to dance with somebody. Just gone 20 past 10. If you want to contribute to our virtual map of Berkshire molehills, 0345 900 1041, to try and establish if we've really seen the increase that Beryl from Reading has written about in the Daily Telegraph over the weekend. We're going to catch up with a man who calls himself the mole catcher before 11 o'clock. First, though, today, Berkshire will see temperatures of up to 14 degrees. Pretty significant, bearing in mind it's February and... uh, bearing in mind that just a week or so ago remember we were going through that cold snap and we had snow showers for pretty much two days solidly um so today temperature wise we are on a par with the greek islands so what better excuse okay to take you somewhere idyllic even if it is the same temperature as central reading i've been speaking to bobby g former lecturer at reading college and now presenter of the breakfast show on island fm in zakynthos so first things first i love the fact that your breakfast show is between nine and twelve i'm guessing people in Zakynthos get up a bit later than they do in Reading. Of course they do, yes, definitely. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, as I say, Monday and Friday, 9 till 12. Uh, the weather, uh, at the moment, not very good. It's, really? Uh, no, it's only it's about 12. Right, uh, so you, and okay. Been, and it's been hissing down all morning. So what typically, at this stage in proceedings in the year, in February, what, what's the kind of weather you would expect in Zakynthos? Um, typical weather. Um, well, this is, I mean, let's have a quick look. Uh, let's have a look. It, I mean, it, January, you, you're looking at 14, you're looking at February 14, then it goes up to about 16 in March, and it can go up as high as 31, 32 in, in June, July, and August. Right, so there's every chance that today the centre yeah. of Reading could be warmer than Zakynthos. It could be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It could be. I, I'm suspecting definitely. that Zakynthos. I mean, much as the fact that the fact is, Berkshire does have some beautiful parts, as you well know. But I'm suspecting yeah. that Zakynthos uh, probably still beats it when it comes to visuals at this time of year. Does it? it, it well, it's gorgeous. I mean, you, you've got the, the olive groves. You've got the uh, obviously loads of them. Um, the beaches. I mean, I was, I was at the beach yesterday, and uh, it's absolutely lovely to walk along that beach and. I mean, it's nice and quiet. No tourists, you see. <laughs> I bet there are. I bet there aren't many in the sea at this time of year in Zakynthos, though. No, uh, a few, few of those ones that uh, are more braver than me. <laughs> but, uh, apart from that, yeah. But, so how, uh, yeah. how does someone make the leap then from being a lecturer at Reading College to presenting the yeah. breakfast show on Island FM in Zakynthos? Um, <laughs> okay. Um, Long story short, I suppose what happened was to me that uh, yeah, Reading College. Um, one of my one of my daughters. I've got four, four mm. lovely daughters. Yep. Um, one of them uh, got married to uh, a lovely guy called Costa, who uh, then they opened a mini golf course here in Zanti. I okay. came over here on holiday, uh-huh. uh, obviously to see him. And then the following year, I I I got made redundant at Reading College. Mm-hmm. And uh, anyway, so I, I went to see them, the people here, and they said, well, okay, Bobby, um, how do you fancy just coming out for the, doing the six months? And then I went back for six months, and I worked for a few other radio stations in England, and then came back for six months, and then eventually uh, they said, how would you like to run the station? So I, I took it up. Wow. So, so now you're running the, the place I mean, as well. The, the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> so what is life like living in Zakynthos for 12 months of the year? Beautiful. Um, I mean, it, it's a lovely island. It's gorgeous. I mean, if, if nobody's been, I'm going to do my tourist thing and tell everybody <laughs> that it's one of the loveliest islands ever. You must come and see it. I mean, it's got one of the most photographed um, photos, if, if, if that's right, uh, ever. Because uh, uh, there's a shipwreck. Every time you put Greece in, nine times, nine times out of ten, you'll get a picture of the shipwreck, and that's here in Zanti. Either that or Santorini, anyway. <laughs> there you go, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And be, I, th- there must be things that you miss about being in Reading, aren't there? There must be some things you miss. I don't know, things are getting better. I mean, originally when I came here, obviously, you, you, you know, there's lots of like, foodie stuff uh, that, that you miss. 
But, I mean, but now, he's getting so, how can I put it, uh, the supermarkets, are now, I mean, we've even got an Iceland here. Really? Um, <laughs> um, when I say in Iceland, uh, uh, there's, there's a chain of supermarkets here that have got, that's selling, uh, they're selling Iceland, yeah, so you can get anything that you can get at home in Reading, we can get here. Can, um, you, get, can you get chocolate digestives and tomato ketchup, yes, though? You can. Yes. Right. Yes, and okay. marmite and, uh, and uh, all, all sorts of things. And, yeah, honestly, it's all here. Brilliant. So what, what I can deduce from our conversation this morning is that the Kinthos looks better in the rain than Reading does, and it's a similar kind of temperature. Yes. But, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's, a, it's a lovely place to live. If it's raining or if it's sunny, it's still lovely. So there we have it, as mild as the Greek islands today. Coming up, we're going to talk about the truth about vitamins. You know, there was all this stuff in the news last week about how we should all be taking vitamin D supplements to prevent colds and flu. We'll find out what we should be taking, get the truth and unpick it all as well after the travel you trust and the latest sport. But first, here's Roy Orbison.